making the most of his second chance and thriving. In his latest, I have a story. Greg McQuaid and photographer Cole Pearson introduce us to a Henrico County man who devised a colorful way to encourage teens to make the right choices in life. Oh man, I've been getting a lot of, a lot of support. Four years ago, Ernest Perval had a vision. See, that's what Project Bully is about. Be unique, live life intelligently. The Richmond native is the founder of Bully, a clothing line with a message. Nothing wrong with being yourself, being different. Stand away from the crowd. Be comfortable in your skin. Ernest's organization embraces teens feeling peer pressure and who are the target of bullies. See, I got the headphones on here. The headphones is basically we tune out all negativity. The 30-year-old does not want young people making the same mistake he did. When the judge did issue his sentence, I didn't hear it because I was in a state of shock. Ernest was convicted of attempted murder and armed robbery. He was just 16. I missed my whole childhood from the age of 16 to 29. I basically grew up in prison. Ernest was sentenced to 73 years with 61 suspended. That time I served was the worst 12 years any human being can possibly do. Letting down those who loved him most cut deep. Because my mother and my father didn't raise me to be no criminal. But basically, I mean, it's all about helping all you. Would y'all like to you know, support my cause today by personal project bully shirt? In the middle of his 12-year stretch, Ernest decided when released, he would be an agent of change. So that's why I'm out here serving these communities and let these kids know I once took that, that route, that which was a dead end route. I'm letting them know that it's okay to be yourself and it's okay to be different. Absolutely, see, you see I'm out here, y'all mean putting the work in. Ernest hopes yes, his encouraging words and t-shirts resonate with teens following the wrong crowd. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, King. Appreciate y'all too. Stay in school, education is everything. And just know those young guys you hanging with now, they are not your friends. As his organization grows, Ernest is hiring young men in his neighborhood, emphasizing self-improvement and to show there's a better way. Right now, my focus is on the kids, you know what I mean? Because those who are young and don't have a voice, I'm basically letting them know, I got your back. For nearly half of his life, he was living a nightmare. See, dreams do come true. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yep. But now, Ernest like Perval is inviting others to follow him down the right path. And at the end of the day, I have a lot of youth depending on me, looking up to me, so I can't let them down. So yeah, absolutely, I'm definitely a leader and I'm gonna lead the way. Ernest Perval recently became a new dad and he works full time at UPS. He sells his t-shirts on most afternoons at White Oak Shopping Center in Henrico County. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.